Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again today. What we have here is my first attempt at a night vision quadcopter. The video footage that you are watching is recorded directly on my DVR on the ground. So if we get any breakups in pictures or any breakup in sound, that's just due to the natural breakup of the 5.8 gigahertz transmitter that I'm using. This video footage is shot in pretty much 100% pitch black. You couldn't really see anything in front of you, in fact we had to use torches to get to the location. As you can see we seem to have some sort of fibres or particles flying into the camera. This isn't actually visible with the naked eye and there's maybe moisture or dust being blown. It's actually being illuminated by the infrared LEDs on the front of the quad. The actual airframe that I'm using is the Team Black Sheep Discovery quadcopter. I'm using DJI's normal red 920kV motors and 30 amp opto ESCs. As you can see you can clearly pick out me and my friend here sitting on the bench in the pitch black. One thing that became immediately obvious to me was the need for a on-screen display so you can read your altitude and more importantly where to fly back to should you get lost. Flying at night time is incredibly different to flying at daytime. At the daytime you can usually use landmarks and locations that you know to actually fly yourself back home. But at night time when your visibility is reduced to several tens of meters you can easily lose your sense of direction in no time at all. These three bikers were 100% invisible to us, we could just hear the sound. And including that guy walking his dog there, again was completely invisible and we didn't actually know he was there. This was actually shot at about quarter past 11 at night. What appears to be flashing lights on the bike wheels is actually the reflectors reflecting the infrared light that was on board the quad at the time. Again, what you can see here are vehicles parked up at the seaside. Obviously the reflective number plates and brake lights are all reflecting the infrared light back also. Because I didn't have an on-screen display, I actually kept using this dark path here as my reference point to fly home. You may see that there's a light at the top of the hill here. That's actually my Sony camcorder with the infrared light on board. This also helped me find my way home. Making a infrared night vision quadcopter is probably easier than you thought. The hardest part of the process is removing the infrared filter from the cameras. To do this you need to use some solder and a bit of heat and you're actually removing the filter from the image sensor embedded inside the camera. And as you've seen, even I got it wrong doing it. But fortunately, as you can see, the camera still works. I'll be showing you how to do this anyway in the next part of this video on version 2 of this quadcopter. On this video, version 1 of the quadcopter, I'm only using 6 infrared LEDs. Granted, they are very high-powered infrared LEDs, but it just gives you an idea of how good the image quality can be with just a few simple infrareds. To help increase the illumination, I've actually purchased two CCTV donut-type LED clusters. I'm going to place these on either side of the booms and see if this improves the light given off. If you're interested in building your own night vision quadcopter, then I'll be sure to do a follow-up on this with part 2 
and version 2 of this actual machine. Don't die! 